Professor uh, Shan, uh, congratulations for your new venture. Uh, we have heard that you have started with an institute named as Institute of Emerging Technologies. So we would like to know about what is the purpose of uh, establishing uh, IET, uh, the Institute of Emerging Technologies in India. Uh, that's a great question, you know. The purpose of starting an Institute of Emerging Technologies to bring skills in our teaching process. So I have been to a lot of centers both in India and also in the US. I have been teaching for 31 years. I was also a Pro Vice Chancellor here in India. And uh, last year and also this year we visited several places. And what I found is when we teach these CAD courses, let's say in case of mechanical, we show them how to draw lines, how to draw circles, and how to draw different entities, different objects. But we do not teach them the applications. For example, let's say in case of a hole, let's say we have a rectangle plate and we have a hole, which is a circle. Now, what is this circle? What's the purpose of the circle? It could be a pin or it could be a hole. Let's assume it is a hole. Then what's the purpose of the hole in terms of what is going to fit in that hole? Is it a bolt or is it a pin? For example, if it is to accommodate a pin, then what are the specifications of the pin? See, we're not going to make a pin. Chances are most of the time we buy the pin from the market like doll pins. And then based on the requirement, we fit that in the hole. When we fit that pin in the hole, then we have to figure out what is the type of fit we want. Do we want a slight fit or do we want a force fit? So a designer has to know these things before he can draw and he can dimension in a circle. So these things are application based. Okay? Same way whether it is, uh, you know, whether it's a counterboard, it's a slot, in case of mechanical, our students have to understand what they mean, what are the applications before they draw it. And same things are applied to basically all CAD areas, you know, be it architecture, uh, be it, you know, uh, animation, be it any field, a student has to know what are the applications why is he drawing those objects? If he knows that, he can be a better engineer, better designer, and hopefully do a better job. Well, uh, Professor Sham, this is a fact. In fact, uh, that's the reason I feel that uh, we require an ecosystem where the, every student today should be skilled and be employable to the industry. So my next question is, uh, I've uh, heard that for the last two years you have been traveling various cities in India and meeting various training centers. Uh, you have traveled to Chennai, Kochi, Coimbatore, Vadodara, Ahmedabad, Bhopal, Mumbai, Jaipur and there are many less here and almost you have covered all, almost all the important cities in South and West. So uh, I hope you have met several uh, training centers with different types of problems and different students also. I've heard that you've addressed colleges in these cities. So what do you think about uh, the situation of these training centers and how you are going to implement the IIT program along with these training centers across the country? Uh, yeah, it was a great experience, you know, when I visited uh, the cash centers in these cities and I met the owners or the CAD faculty. One thing I tell you, I was really impressed with the excitement that they showed the interest they are taking in training their students. But they have certain concerns that we are trying to address using the IT network. So what we plan to do is, you know, we want to do this. We want to do the IET setup in a very smooth manner. For example, first thing is to contact the training centers. But that's the reason that I travel to all these places. See and understand what their concerns are. For example, software is one of them. Okay, so now what do we do about it? Then we have to get together. So that's what we have been trying to uh, tell them. Let's get together, okay? Let's find a way so that we can get the software 
and then discounted price. So if we have, let's say, three to 500, maybe in future 1,000 centers, if we are together, it's guaranteed that the software companies will work with us. They also understand it's not that they don't want to work with us. They do. But we don't have a united front in India. We don't have a setup where we can collectively go to these software companies and discuss the software prices. So with this network, IET network, that's what we plan to do is create a group, okay, have a common understanding what are the softwares we need, and then we'll go to these software companies and make them first understand what's our purpose. We're not going there, okay, give me the software, but we have to make them understand our purpose and also the difficulties we face. See, this is not United States. United States one dollar is equal to 70 rupees in India. So if the software that costs three thousand dollars, you multiply it by 70, that's the price in India. And then look at the earning potential. Every engineer in US makes at least five thousand dollars a month. Every engineer here makes three thousand rupees a month. Look at the difference. How can we afford the software? Okay, that is three thousand dollars. Okay, so looking at this, we have to go to them, and we have to explain, you know, our uh, concerns, and hopefully they'll come up with a solution. And the other thing <coughs> that you mentioned is uh, one thing that we want to make sure that it happens is that our training partners they teach skill-based okay just teaching circles lines drawing walls and different things that's not going to make our engineers employable okay it's like giving a calculator somebody by giving a calculator teaching a calculator to a person doesn't make him a scientist or engineer showing something somebody to how to use the word doesn't make him a great writer so we have to look what makes him a great writer, what makes a person a great mathematician or a scientist. Calculator alone doesn't do it. Okay? So same way by giving CAD as a tool will not make a person a great engineer, a great architect or a great animator. They have to understand what are the applications. So those things, you know, the software, so we want to tell them, we want to, you know, come to a common understanding, see what is our, what we can do collectively. And that is what we are doing is software companies to get a discounted software and then also making sure that our partners uh, use, you know, application-based training. Mm -hmm. Professor, coming to the another question because I was just going through some of the articles that have been published in your site and then mentions that uh, there was in the IET program it was written design in India. I mean, it's very similar to Make in India. So, how, what is the purpose of this slogan? What led you to get this slogan and how you see this slogan is going to hit the country with the ID network? Uh, great. I'm glad that you mentioned that. Uh, because, see, if we say Make in India, okay, and all of us, we know, before you make something, you had to design it. Every product, no matter what it is, Okay, it starts from a designer, then it goes to manufacturing, then it goes to sales, so on and so forth. Okay, so no matter what, how the product goes, it starts from a designer. So that's what, what we want to do is, now to be a designer, we have to understand what's the purpose of the product. What are the manufacturing operations that that product will go through? What are the machines that we are going to use to make that product? So a designer has to know all these things. In addition to all these things, how the aesthetic aspect of the product, does it look good? Okay. So if we have to implement the policy that government has come up with, there are great policies. To implement those policies, make in India, I think it is very important to design in India before we make a product. But if we do not emphasize the design aspect, we could make the products, but they may not be functional, 
they may not be quality products. So design is a step one before we jump into making a product. Nice, Professor. And the last question, I not. Uh, I mean, I think we are running short of time. Uh, the last question is, uh, how was the response when you met these people across the country? How was the response from these training centers? And I also uh, talked to, I talk, I had discussion with some of the training centers, and uh, I had got an apprehension that uh, there is a, I mean, if this IT network comes, people are scared. Big franchises are scared that, you know. The business will be somewhat uh, IT will take take part. Whether the franchisee can also join the IT network, an individual training center, academics. I mean, what is basically IT network? How it is different from the franchisee? Because there are a lot of confusion amongst the people. Yeah, you know, we're not competing with anybody. So we're basically telling the training centers to come and come and join us. Have a united front, okay. and let the software companies know what we need okay. and hopefully get discounted price. Now, they could be working with any franchise, that's fine. We're not telling them to leave that franchise or leave their company name and adopt our name. No, they will retain their name, they will retain their fran franchise status if they are, okay? They can still join us. Take an example of an X center. Let's say they have 100 franchises okay if they join us okay we add another hundred training centers in our network so that gives us more bargaining power and in turn what we'll do is we'll provide them the software at a discounted price they don't have they're not doing anything they don't have to change anything except they get software at discounted prices and we are not making anything in the process it's not here IET is what wants to be a karodpati, okay? That is not the idea. Be me joining, me and my group, we are here to provide a service. We are here to get all these centers together, working with a purpose. Our goal is not to make money. As a matter of fact, we are investing a lot of time, a lot of effort in this whole thing, and we are not getting a dime back, and we don't plan to make it a money-making system. No, it's a no, no profit, no loss, okay, situation. But if we have some expenses, administrative expenses, we'll try to record them later. But right now, for at least first couple of years, mm -hmm. there's no additional charges for whatever we are doing. Yeah. Uh, professor, uh, it was really, I mean, at last, uh, there are a lot of fan followers in India of yours. Uh, for a lot of years, people have been uh, reading your book. Young people, uh, I mean, now some of them are placed in the industry, but still there are a lot of fan followers. Do you, that anything last you want to say to this young people over here and the technocrats to the country? Whether in Hindi mein kuch bolo, you can conclude something with this video. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually I should have done that before also, but I'm glad you know I you know. In English, you know, a lot of people understand, and so do Hindi. So, you know, let me repeat that in Hindi. So, the purpose, just ke liye hum yaha pe aaye, main aaye hoon aur jo mera team hai. Main purpose hi hai ki hum yaha pe jo technical education hai, yaha pe jo care area mein jo education hai, is mein jo applications se padhaye jaye. Ki agar hum applications padhate hain, usse kya hoga ki hamare jo bache hain. लोग डिजाइन सीखते हैं इन लोग एक तो वो अच्छे डिजाइनर बनेंगे और उसके बाद यू नो दे विल बी एम्प्लॉयड अभी इंडिया में ये है कि मोस्ट ऑफ द ग्रेजुएट्स ओके आर नॉट एम्प्लॉयड द रीजन इज बिकॉज दे डोंट नो व्हाट आर द एप्लीकेशंस जो कवाज कॉलेज में पढ़ा है तो उसको इंडस्ट्री में कैसे इंप्लीमेंट करना है सो दैट्स द गैप वी आर ट्राइंग टू मैच दोस आर द थिंग्स दैट वी वांट टू डू to make our students more employable. Thank you, Professor. Thanks a lot for this uh, wonderful conversation we had with you, and we have learned a lot from you. Okay, so this.